Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today I'm gonna show y'all my first real knife that I actually bought. Now I'm gonna start off by giving a big shout out to my man Zach from Zach Stuff. I'll leave a link for his YouTube channel up in the description. He got a thousand and one knife videos. I told him I wanted to join the knife community. What do I gotta do? And uh, he let me fill out an application, check my paperwork to make sure I don't be telling on nobody. Once everything came back clear, he welcomed me in with open arms. All right, so shout out to Zach, shout out to the whole knife community. Not only did he welcome me in, he sent me a little welcoming package with a couple of knives. Now I asked him, what kind of knife should I be looking for to start my collection, what brands? So he told me Benchmade, ProTech, and a bunch of other brands. I reached out to a few other dudes that I met in the knife community, and everybody said, I gotta get a Microtech. Okay, I got a minimum, have one Microtech in my collection, and that's what I'm gonna show y'all today. Now, on a side note, I promised y'all for the weekends, we're gonna start having more fun instead of doing tech videos. So next weekend, we could do cooking with floss. We could do a sneaker video. We could do one of these liquor taste tests. We got live gaming streams. Okay, we got the Amazon Warrior live streams. Let me know what y'all wanna see, okay? But today, we're gonna focus on my first real knife that I actually bought. Now, let me be clear about this. This is the first knife that I actually bought as a real knife. When I say real, I mean as a knife community, knife collector perspective. But let me be clear, this is not my first knife. I, this is my first real knife for collection, but this is not my first knife. My first, This is not my first day using a knife because I know a lot of y'all see white shoes on the table. When I made my last knife video, a lot of y'all was like, oh, watch out for shoes. Be careful with the knife. Don't hold it like this. Bro, calm down. Okay, calm down. A lot of y'all might not notice about me, but I used to work as a paramedic on an ambulance. I've used knives my whole life, way more than I want to talk about. Even before that, when I was a young man, you know, on the streets, they used to call me the Pokemon. Right? Cause you know, when the shit pop off, I get to poking. But anyway, <laughs> all jokes aside, don't worry about white shoes, okay? Shoes is down here with me in this dungeon. I got a whole bunch of medieval torture devices down here. I basically cut up a thousand boxes a week. She's good, she knows, she, she's not as as uh, noobish as y'all think, neither am I. All right, so let's get started. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, I love my white shoes. calm down. All right, <laughs> now, let me get to poking. <laughs> yeah, y'all know that's my favorite phrase, get to poking, all right? Now, before I show y'all this knife, and before I show you the Zach's knives that he sent me, let me show y'all some of the other knives that I had. All right, now, if you're familiar with my channel, y'all remember the, <laughs> y'all remember the zombie killer knife? Okay, now these are on Amazon for about 30, 40 bucks. Really cheap knives, but they get the job done, all right? Now, when I say real knife, even these cheap knives, they're sharp, all right? They could cut, they could definitely cut you, they could definitely cut somebody else or something else, which I really use these for unboxing packages and cutting up boxes. Okay, so that was a zombie killer. All right, shoes, back up a little, back up just a teeny bit, bro. Y'all remember the Batman knife? <laughs> now this is, this is the uh, double-sided Batman knife. Okay, we got knives on each side. Right, shoes, we got knives on each side. <laughs> okay, shoes, you're gonna, you're making this video hard because you're too cute. All right, I can't be playing around with all these knives. Everybody, everybody getting into their feelings. All right, back up now. All right. Y'all remember <laughs> the gun knife, uh, the Glock knife? Now this one is a little bit on the flimsy side, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't trust carrying this around outside, but this is perfect for cutting up boxes. Okay, now y'all seen this one recently. This is from Carved. Okay, this is a nice one right here for opening up mail. Okay, shoes, I'm about to follow you to the side. Now get up, shoes! <laughs> okay, yeah, stay back there where you're safe. Now, <laughs> look, let me, if y'all see me yell at shoes, is it just like when you yell at your little kid when they get ready to run in the street? And you be like, get your ass on the street. You're not yelling at them because you mad, because you gotta be stern. So if y'all hear me take a stern voice with shoes or give her a stern shove, that's how she knows that whatever I'm doing is a dangerous tactic. And then she gonna play her position. Now this one right here, this is from Alien Knives. Okay, now this one, this one runs about a hundred bucks. This was a gift from Alien Knives. Okay, this is one of those big boys. I actually like the handle on this. It is what it is. 
Now, last week, y'all seen this one. A lot of people have been asking me about this one. This one's from Mega Knife. Okay, now, I thought this was a real knife at first. I paid about 70 bucks until I joined the knife community and everybody was like, nah, bro, that is, that is not a real knife. All right, this is OTF. Now, when someone, OTF, that means out the front. I actually like this one, okay? This is the one I've been using every day. This is pretty dope. Okay, this is 70 bucks on this from Mega Knife. Now, this is the actual real knife that I own. This was a gift from the Medford guy over at Medford Knives, okay? I do like this one a lot. Got the USA handle. This one runs about 500 bucks. Now, when he gifted me this knife, somebody gives me a gift, I do not wanna know the price. So when he gave it to me, I was like, okay, this is a knife, nice, thanks. Then um, somebody, one of my knife community friends was watching one of my unboxing videos and was like, bro, you unboxing with a $500 Metford knife? And I was like, $500? I, I didn't know that these knives cost that much. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm new to the knife community. I didn't realize that these knives are expensive. Now, the one that I bought is around 300 bucks. I, I, I'm still in my novice stages, so I'm not going to jump out the window yet. I'm going to start my collection off slowly and then work into the expensive stuff. Now, my girl, if she watching this video, you remember that John Wick knife set from Microtech that I showed you? I <laughs> Hint. All right, for Christmas, hint, I want that. Anyway, so the Medford knife right here, that's <laughs> real nice. Okay, now these are the cheap knives that I had, well, except for the Medford. Let's, let's leave that right there. Let's see what my man Zach from Zach Stuff sent over. Okay, so we got this. We got this. We'll leave that up for a minute. Let's see what else. Okay, now he did send me this. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. This is... uh. Some Zach Stuff Troll Stickers, okay, Benchmade. Okay, this is a quality knife brand. I right, shout out to Zach, I appreciate the Troll Stickers, okay. Proud Built Oregon City, okay. Got some patches, okay, let's, what does this say? D-S-K-F-S. I don't know what that means, Zach, hit me up in the comments. Let me know um, what this stuff means, okay. Let's see, made in the USA, Benchmade, okay. Made in America, that's right, America. Let's see, D-S-K-F-S. All right, if y'all know what that means, hit me up in the comments and let me know. All right, so shout out to Zach. Now, Zach, on a side note, since you did welcome me into the knife community so friendly and openly, I did send you in return from my vast library of tech goods. I sent you something really nice. All right, I'm not gonna say what it is because I want it to be a surprise, but when you get it, come back to the comment section of this video and let me know if you like it. Okay, here we go. Let's see, the first one he sent me. Now, this is a Benchmade, okay? Benchmade Knife Company. This is the Benchmade Shootout. Now, this is actually, I think I know which one this is. I, I watched his video on this, and I left a comment, and I said I really like that one. Okay, I want that Benchmade Shootout. And let me see if he was kind enough to bless me with it. <laughs> now, this would be the ultimate come up. Okay, now, this is not the shootout, or is it? Oh, this is definitely the shootout. Okay. Now, see, here's the thing about... Oh, this is kind of tough. This is so sick. Shout out to Zach. I'm back here smiling. This is so sick. The difference between this, right, the $70 one, and this, this one feels like there's nothing in it. Is there really a knife in here? It is. Oh, this is, this is so... Yeah, shoot. Get out of here. This is so lightweight. This is feather light compared to this. This and this. This almost feels hollow. Oh, this is sick. Mm. Now, I want to show y'all something real quick. When I did my last video, a lot of people was like, oh, you know, they make the button hard to press so, you know, so it doesn't accidentally deploy in your pocket. And that's not true. All right, that's not true because this button is real easy. But watch this. We got a piece of paper. Now, one of my fellow knife community members told me to try this. Watch this. You see? It did not even pierce the paper. It will not go, it will not deploy right into your leg. All right, so if you got this in your pocket, you don't have to worry about accidentally blasting open your femoral artery. <laughs> I had to bleed into death. Which, on a side note, when I worked as a paramedic, I seen that happen. All right, I seen that happen. Now, this could be a topic for another video. If y'all want to hear some of my wild paramedic stories, of me being a hero and me being on the other end of the spectrum, you know, watching people say their last words. I, I seen it all. I, I seen it all. I seen every injury to man. I seen exactly 
what these knives could do. So although we be joking about getting the poking and all of that, you gotta take the, all of this stuff, you gotta put a lot of respect into these kind of products because they really will do a lot of damage. This, I think this is my new favorite knife. I right, shout out to Zach. This is the exact one I wanted, the Benchmade Shootout. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. This is sick. Let me see if I could deploy this with ease of hand. All right, now if you notice, I'm working on my knife community lingo. I, I used to say open. No, this is the firing switch, and this is called deploying deploying the knife. All right, so if I gotta deploy this shit and get to poking, you know what I'm saying? Look how easy that is. But I can't believe how lightweight this is. This might be my EDC. Now, if you're new to the knife community, EDC is everyday carry. This is something that I'm gonna carry every day. Nigga, watch one knife video and I he think he knife. He think he knows shit about knives. Calm down, Floss. Calm down. Okay, so we got two real knives so far. All right, Zach, I appreciate that. That's the one I wanted. Now let's see what this is right here. Now what what is this? This is from Protec. Okay, we got a Protec right here. Okay, <laughs> this is. This is I'm a little bit too excited with this stuff, but let's see. Okay, so we got a Protec. Now, here we go. Now, let's see. How do we deploy this one? Now, is this... Um, let me... I don't want to rush into this kind of stuff. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Do we just... <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Hold on one second, y'all. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> now, look. Bro, look at this. Now, this is the Protec. This one does have a nice amount of weight. I never seen this in my whole life. Like I said, I am new to this community, but look at this. Bro, this is the push button. <laughs> Bro, this is the push button. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Now, this one has a nice clip on it. Let me see. The, um, the Benchmade does have the glass break on the bottom. Belt clip. Okay. Let's see the difference in the blades. This one has that desert sand kind of look to it. Real sick. Let me zoom out a teeny bit. There it is. Okay, this one right here. Now, you see, I don't, I don't want to grab it like that and press. I'm trying to press from down here. I got to do a little research on this one. But this one just jams open. Whoa! I, this is instantaneous deployment. All right? All right, so if I got to deploy this shit and get the poking. All right, here we go. All right, so this one is sick. This one is sick. Now... Let me grab the one that I <coughs> that I bought myself. All right, so I wanted to grab the card that came with this one. Now I bought this from a website called Adventuron. Now shopping with us, you're supporting the family business. I like that. I like supporting small businesses. Okay, and I got a little ten dollars off my next hundred dollar purchase. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the Microtech. Now this is the Microtech UTX 85DE. Okay, now this is my first real knife that I actually paid for. Okay, so this is a special moment. Let's all enjoy this together. Welcome to the Microtech family. Okay, thank you. My pleasure to, to be involved. Okay, we got the Microtech pamphlet. Okay, shows you how to open and close. Okay, now I'm not gonna go through all of the specs and all of that because I am not a knife connoisseur, so I don't wanna act like I know exactly what I'm talking about. I just learned a few key phrases, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Deploy, I'm about to start deploying shit left and right. But check this one out. The Microtech UTX 85. Now this one is, I, I, I can't believe how lightweight this feels. Okay, now, when I went to the website, I actually liked this one because it has serrated edges on one side Okay, straight edge on the other side. On the bottom, we got the glass breaker. Let's see, um, I don't got my glasses on, I can't read that, but it says Microtech, look like some serial numbers, all that good stuff, okay? Now you need a special uh, tool bit to open this one up, which I will never do, but you can. Oh, this one is, oh, this one is sick. All right, I like this one. Okay, so pretty easy to deploy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know now I gotta get this now something out just like with the other ones let's see I like the bench made that this button right here this is this is the one that I'm gonna have to let's see how sharp is this one is actually pretty sharp <laughs> I actually I think I love this one all right I love this one this Microtech this is pretty sick too now one thing that I gotta let y'all know I had to turn my AC off when I'm making these videos so I'm down here sweating a little bit so my fingers get a little bit moist Right, moist. My fingers get a little bit moist, 
but this button is really not hard to press. Now, I can't get over the difference in weight. Now, let me see something. Let's see. Let's see the length of these blades. Now, the actual blade length is about the same. Maybe this one is a little bit, a little bit bigger, but this one is like three times as heavy. I mean, this one right here is beastly. You're not gonna wanna walk around with this in your pocket. Something like this is so lightweight. So lightweight. Now, I'm gonna, let's deploy these. <laughs> <laughs> real quick and let's i want to let y'all know something uh now nah, this one right here this, this one right here i just gotta gotta be careful with this one <laughs> you gotta be careful with this bad, bad boy right here mm. now i want to talk about something real quick now see i don't like ones like this that i can't really open too easily with one hand because when the shit pop off all right and you got to deploy this shit out of your back pocket you don't want to go like this and miss uh, you don't want to be fumbling around. You don't want to have to be using two hands. You want to be able to clandestinely open this up. Okay, get it into position. Put your finger right there. And then when it's your opportunity, get to poking. All right, get to slicing or get to poking. Okay, so let's leave this here for a minute. Now, let's talk about legal legality. Right, what's, the le what's the legal ramifications for walking around with one of these knives? Now, I've done a lot of research. I've talked to a few of my lawyer friends. Are OTF knives illegal? And the simple answer is yes and no. It all depends where you live. Now, in a lot of states in the USA, they're 100% legal. In some states, they're 100% illegal. And in states like New York City, where I'm at right now, they're legal if you got a fishing in game license. Now, I know what some of y'all gonna say. Floss, you know damn well you ain't got no fishing in game license. Are you still gonna walk around with this? Or how are you gonna walk around with this? Let me show you exactly how I'm gonna walk around with this. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna close it, I'm gonna put it in my pocket and walk around with it. And let me tell you why, <laughs> let me tell you why. These arch criminals out here and these thugs and gangsters, you know, the ops, <laughs> right? they not worried about fishing and game licenses to carry their weapons. Okay, that is an old saying that I live by, I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. If anything happens and I gotta pull this out, that means that the situation is life or death. All right, and if I gotta get to poking, we'll settle it in court. I, I do not wanna settle it in the court of the streets. Now, here's a quick story. I'm on Instagram a lot. I follow a lot of these hood pages like Hood Site and USA Crime, uh, Chicago Ghetto, uh, Street Videos, where you watch a lot of videos. Every single day you watch a video of crimes happening in real life off surveillance cameras. And it's always innocent people getting shot, getting stabbed, getting robbed, getting beat down. And the reason that I watch these videos is not because I like gory scenes and I like to see people suffering. I watch these kind of videos to always remind me that you gotta stay frosty in these streets, okay? You can't just be walking around with your head up in the clouds, texting your girl while you stroll down the streets in the middle of the night, thinking about cotton candy and bubble gum. Oh, la, 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 hey baby, I miss you in the middle of the night. You can't do that. Now I'm gonna tell you a perfect story that encapsulates my uh, thoughts, <laughs> my thought process. The other day I was watching this video. Now it looks like maybe a 7-Eleven or a gas station. You got the gas station clerk, He's working behind the counter, minding his business, and you got two customers online about to buy some stuff. One of them got, you can clearly see on the video, he got a couple of beers, it looks like microwave popcorn. <laughs> I would know what microwave popcorn looks like on camera, because I'm a fat ass. But anyway, just a regular night. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, two, <laughs> two arch criminals bust into the store, one got a gun, and the other one looks like he got a screwdriver or a long knife, it was kind of big. Big shiny object. So the one with the gun, he points it right at the guy in the cash register's face and goes around the register to start robbing the register. The guy behind the counter got his hands up like this. Now the guy with the sword or knife, or whatever that was, the two people I was standing there, he starts rifling through their pockets. Or as we call in the, <laughs> we call that in the, in the hood, running the pockets. Now he started running their pockets. Left them with the rabbit ears. You know what rabbit is? When you, when you take out somebody's pockets and they just lay, lay like that. We call that rabbit ears, right? Then they ran the pockets, left them with the rabbit ears, and they just stand in there like this. Now, let me explain something to y'all. Some of these cashiers and some of these managers and store clerks, 
they are with the shits, all right? They ready for action. They've been waiting their whole life for somebody to come up in there with a gun and try to rob them and make one false move. They're gonna turn around and go on the attack. And this guy behind the counter, he was definitely with the shits, all right? The guy is robbing him. He's rifling through the register. Out of nowhere, the guy just, bang, rocked him. The gun dropped. Now his man that had the knife, he turned around and ran out the store. Now the two customers that was in there with the pockets looking like rabbit ears, they're just standing there. The cash register, all right, Captain America, he is fighting this arch criminal. All right, they, they fighting, they tussling, they slamming each other all over the register. You know, it looks like one of those struggles. It's a real, it's a life and death struggle. But the gun is on the floor. The two customers in there, they just standing there looking like dummies. Now me, if I was in there, all right, if I was in there, I just got my pockets ran like that. And my pockets is flapping in the wind. All of my cash is gone. If I got this in my pocket, the cashier is fighting for his life. I'm deploying this and I'm getting the poking. I, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm getting the poking. Somebody going to die in that situation right there. It ain't going to be me. It ain't going to be the cashier. And guess what? All right. When everything is said and done and that guy right there, I, I don't wish death on nobody, but you know, he's a villain. Right, he's a villain. When that villain bleeds out right there, guess who's getting charged with that body? Not me, not the clerk, the guy that ran, his accomplice, okay? They're in there committing armed robbery, all right? Felony armed robbery. I'm up in there defending my life, all right? I'm defending my life. <laughs> now, whether this is illegal or not, at the end of the day, the worst that I could get, maybe a fine, maybe a probation, you know, maybe 30 days on Rikers Island, I'm a motherfucking warrior. I, I could do that. I could do that. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay? Now, if you don't believe me, just go to any one of these, especially USA Crime, and watch how many people just get caught lacking. And what I mean by lacking is slacking, sleeping, you know, daydreaming, walking around, la, 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 you know, not paying attention. When you out there in these mean streets, you got to stay ready. Now, I'm not I'm not advocating people to go out and start buying a whole bunch of knives and start thinking that you John Wick. What I'm trying to say is think of think about your safety, think about your family's safety. Most importantly, <laughs> think about your ass, all right? Let me let me say it like that. Think about your goddamn ass, all right? Now, me, I think about my ass all the time. All right? Anytime I go somewhere, I got to make sure that I got some kind of self-defense mechanism on me. All right, because when the shit pop off, y'all know what I'm getting ready to say. I'm not asking no questions. I'm getting to poking, okay? And this knife right here. Now, the Benchmade, I think this is it. This is the one that I'm going to carry. This is the most lightweight one. It's the, the button is the easiest to press. I can get it out with either hand. No issues at all, okay? No issues at all. Now, I watched the 1001 stress test videos. This knife is not going to break. That's why you're paying this kind of money. Now, for the one that I just bought, I think I said, like I said, I think I paid, Um, I think I said, like I said, I think I paid maybe 300 bucks for this one, give or take a couple of dollars. And this is pretty much entry level. Now, the Microtex that I've been looking at, some of them go all the way up to two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000. Did y'all ever see that big giant one that's $10,000? You know, I tried to get that one. It sold out everywhere. But I want the John Wick set. That's my next That's my next thing, all right? Babe, if you're watching, the John Wick set, I need that. Especially with John Wick 4 coming out. This is crazy. All right, up again. Again, before you buy one of these now, if, you, if you're not like me and you actually care about the laws and all of that, Check with your your um, local municipalities. I right, check the laws in your local. I right, just call up your your congressman, your senator. Go to the cops. Ask them is, is it legal to carry this in your state? But me, I live by the don't ask, don't tell policy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not asking nobody. I don't want nobody to tell me nothing. I'm doing what I got to do. All right, and I suggest y'all do the same. Anyway, I know I'm rambling right now. Let me end this video. So this is my first real knife that I actually bought. Okay, this is the Microtech. I love it. I'm going to alternate EDCs between this. Then again, who am I kidding? I'm probably just going to walk around with this one. Zach, you are you are a boss for sending this one over. Uh, you, you're the mother effing man. I really like this one. And, it, it, and this is what I'm saying. One thing about the knife community that I noticed so far, it's very non-toxic. Now, I'm, I'm involved in a lot of communities. The biggest one that I've been in for probably the most amount of years, the FGC, you know, the fighting game community. 
that community is very toxic because it's really a lot of younger cats nowadays into it. So, you know, it's a lot of bullshit. You know, it's, it's a lot of corny shit. I'm in a lot of other, like, I'm in the fine dining community. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so fat. All I do is dine. You know? But uh, one thing about the knife community, just like the tech community, that y'all, all of my comments right now, we all part of the tech community. The tech community is very friendly, very opening. Everybody's willing to help each other. Oh, wow, where's the best deal? I get a phone. I don't know how to use it. Everybody posts on each other's videos. Like, it's a lot of love. And I'm noticing that same thing with the knife community. It's a lot of love going down. And um, I'm happy to be a part of it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Anyway, so this is the Microtech. <laughs> Microtech, we got Benchmade, and we got the Protech, the Protech. This one is pretty hard too, though. This one is pretty hard too. I just want to make sure that, okay, this is, you know, okay, so I could close it like that. This one seems like it wants to jump out of your hand when you open it. Like, this is real. This is, now this one just looks razor sharp. Ooh, this one is sharp. This, oh, this is one of those knife knives. Okay. Okay, Zach, this is a knife knife. Yeah, this one, uh, phew. And remember, fellas, when you got to get the poking, aim for the juggler. All right, not the juggler. Aim for the juggler. All right, it's two different parts of the body. Aim for the juggler. All right, or aim for the abdomen. <laughs> That's where you're gonna do your most amount of damage. Or I try to get the thoracic region. You know? <laughs> when you gotta get to poking, <laughs> go for the juggler first, abdomen second, thoracic region. If you're looking for the kill, <laughs> if you're looking for if you're looking for immediate kill, go take it to the heart. Now, one more thing before I get out of here. Also, on a serious note, did y'all see that video the other day of those dudes? Like, they looked like they was in the shopping mall, and the dude had a knife in his hand. And he, it, looked, it was like three guys on this side, three guys on that side. They looked like they want to fight, but the dude got the knife out. He got it out like this. So the other guy's like, yo, you know, like, why you got a knife? Blah, blah, blah. So his man, I, he, 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 he looked like he, he had to be drunk because why would he do that? You see the knife. He walked up on the guy and the guy just hit him one time in the juggler. One time. The guy looked like he was stunned. He looked like he was stunned. And then less than 10 seconds later, he's on the floor bleeding out he died right there on the spot you can't please you, you got to take this stuff seriously all right this is this is not a game you got to take this stuff seriously all right if you're going to be using this for self-defense you got to take it seriously and it's at the same time this is not a toy all right if you, if you haven't seen that video it's, it's heartbreaking and like i said when i worked in an ambulance i seen multiple multiple more than i could more than i can even tell y'all about multiple people dying because of stab wounds me personally i got stabbed in the abdominal region i almost died i was in a coma i i had to have emergency surgery so I know, I so I, I, even though I be talking about getting the poking, the Pokemon and all that, I know because I've been poked before, I know that this is serious business. And that's why I'm saying that, you know, these um stuff like this, you don't got to walk around with a gun. Uh, you don't have to walk around with a gun all of the time. Something like this could easily save your life, easily. You just got to make sure when you, when you get into poking, make sure you don't... You don't want to poke somebody in the arm. You're just going to make them mad. <laughs> no, you don't want to make them mad. You're going to get to poking. I do a little research. Learn for, learn, learn the best regions. <laughs> Me personally, I go for the juggler, bro. All right, I'm going for the kill. I'm old now. I ain't got time to be tussling you. I'm going for the kill. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm playing. I'm, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Unless you look, if you fuck with me and you trying to you trying to get me, it's, if, if you put me in a situation where it's me or you, I'm going for the kill. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm going for the kill. Anyway. This is the Microtech. <laughs> this is the Microtech knife. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this, and leave it in the comments, and let me know what y'all want to see next Sunday or next Saturday when we do another fun video. All right, because I consider this a fun video. Let me know if y'all want to see the cooking with floss, the sneakers. Y'all want to see the the uh, live liquor test, li liquor taste testing, live stream, video game streams. You know, we I got I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a jack of all trades. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. 
screaming gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuce. Spock won the B mark. Energize. in the world uses technology and if you're gonna buy some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones the iPads the Galaxies the Samsungs whatever the fuck the beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.